This is tough to do at this range. I don't know how these professional bloggers do this stuff. The lights. Lights killing me here. I need some kind of indirect lighting. What if I put it down here? Oh yeah, that's so much better. I guess we're taking the hat off. Oh god, that's even worse. All of this is coming out. All of it is coming out. Hey there, thanks for stopping by. So um, coming up on the big April 8th trip for me down to uh, Ohio to see the uh, Great American Total Eclipse, I am going to kick off this series of videos as a sort of a countdown of what I'm doing going forward for the solar eclipse on April 8th. Um, it looks like it's going to be a big thing. Uh, one of the one of the things I want to I wanted to touch on real quick is again it's a countdown we're about three weeks out so we're gonna to have to to accelerate the plan. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get everything done that I wanted to get done uh, in the time frame that I have. One of the things I have to work on is eclipse photography. Um, I've never photographed an eclipse before because I've never seen an eclipse before. I think I might have might have stepped outside the parking lot during work once, but I've never really been serious about it. So that's one of the things I'm going to focus on. Um, there are a couple of really great videos uh, that I'll link here, and we'll see what we can manage. I don't expect to be a pro the first time out. Uh, there's also a great video from Smarter Every Day that uh, goes over some of the stuff to look for during an eclipse. Apparently, it's going to be quite the quite the experience. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um. The weather is getting colder, which is going to curtail uh, a lot of my activities on the truck build. This last weekend, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. I never do. You know, I always I always break out the timeline, and then it takes longer to do things than I expected to do. For instance, um, there's a video coming up of me putting in the vinyl floor, which has honestly come out really, really well. But there were a couple of last-minute things that took some extra time. For instance, you're not going to see it in the video uh, unless I throw in some last-minute photos because I, I forgot to film any of it. But I put a 36 by 36 piece of uh, diamond plate aluminum. It's very thin. But when I load up my e-bike for these trips, it should protect it from destroying the vinyl. Because the vinyl, it's it's very... It's soft. It's vinyl, right? I mean, if I wanted to put stone in there, then it would be much, much more durable. I'm not going to do stone because it's, it's heavy and hard to work with, etc., etc. Um, but the, the the diamond plate, I think, will protect me from a lot of scuffs and damage, and it looks kind of cool, especially when you consider the fact that it's called the aluminum falcon, and I've got an aluminum diamond plate. I might have to end up having to buy some smaller pieces of that to use for the backsplash. Uh, behind the um, behind the induction cool, uh, heating plate, induction stove. I don't know. <sighs> so, like I said, weather is getting colder. I didn't get around to getting the solar panels up on the roof, uh, up on the roof like I planned on, um, but that's okay because I still need to cut the bracing for the edges of those solar panels, and. That's something I can do inside the garage. I've got the space to do that inside the garage. I can heat the garage. The next week's going to be in the high 30s, high 20s-ish. So it's going to be cold. We're going to get some snow. Doesn't matter. I can do all that stuff inside the garage. So that'll work out just fine for me. Um, one of the things I'd like to work on, which I don't know that I'll get, I'll get the opportunity, is closing in the walls. Um... I literally have two walls that I want to finish up, not count, not counting the the shower area. That's going to be a different issue altogether. I've got one piece of T111 siding left under the tarp out back, but I'm pretty sure that got soaked and is moldy beyond recovery at this point, so it's going to be firewood. I mean, there's nothing you can do about stuff like that. It just happens. The fact that, the fact of the matter is I've probably lost under $100 worth of lumber to the winter, which just tells me that I actually got a lot of stuff done um, last summer and did a pretty good job of uh, using what I bought. So 
We're going to be doing a little bit more of that. Uh, it's a little bit harder now because I'm obviously not going to be storing it outside and I've got limited space in the garage. So if I can get the solar panels up, that'll free up some space inside. But if I can't, then I may have to be cutting siding in, uh, in 30 degree weather, which not high on my list of things to do, but it's gotta be done. Um, the reason I want to get those walls closed in is because I want to add some additional shelving, uh, particularly up front by the, by the passenger side towards the front of the van. Uh, I was going to build the, those shelves, but I double checked my measurements and it turns out that that space is 14 inches deep by 30 inches wide, which is exactly the size of a wire rack, which means I can get wire shelving and put it in there and be good to go and have adjustable shelving uh, on rails. I think, I hope. I'm going to order one, see if it fits. Crossing my fingers, crossing my fingers. In the next three weeks, almost exactly three weeks, it'll be three weeks to, uh, starting Monday, um, I intend to get the walls closed in, get the shelving on, and hopefully I can get the solar in. If I can't get the solar in, that might cause me some issues because I don't have a campsite in Wapakoneta. And I can guarantee at this point, from what I've seen, there's almost no way I'm going to get a campsite. So I'm going to be boondocking somewhere. Which means I'm going to need solar because the, my batteries will last maybe 48 hours. More like 36. So, until the next update or the next video, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.